I had had atrial flutter, that's what they call it, for quite a while. And then uh, November of 2016, I had a stroke. Went through a lot of things, but I was still in atrial flutter. So my heart was constantly beating 105 all the time. And uh, my, I got congestive heart failure. And my injection fraction got down to 17%, which is really low. With him, we <clears throat> used a number of medicines and techniques to get him out of this uh, rhythm. And then um, we uh, did a procedure called an ablation, where you uh, burn parts of the heart to help uh, keep you out of this rhythm. The abnormal heartbeats usually occur because of abnormal short circuits. Uh, to put it simply, so you basically find the short circuit with a catheter and you use some energy and cause a little scar and, and kill a little bit of tissue and you can help people uh, uh, stay out of these rhythms. I needed to get that under control so I could get uh, the strength of my heart back. And then after he did that, because there were nights where uh, I was going to bed at 7 to 8 o'clock because I was ready to go to bed. And once he did that, it was just an immediate surge of energy, I felt, actually. More recently, there's been some evidence that people with weak hearts don't like to be in AFib, and they tend to do a lot better uh, when they're out of AFib. So uh, he's one of the people that did quite well after we um, treated him for AFib and did the ablation, and he's uh, staying in a normal rhythm with a much stronger heartbeat. I was able to stay up later till. 10.30 or 11 o'clock, go to the gym and work out. I've been doing that daily since then. And uh, my endurance is way higher. My strength is way higher. Everything's just a lot better. The two times it's been nice, I played golf at Gustin Golf Course, very hilly, and walked nine holes both times, which is, that was unheard of for me last year or two years ago the last two years.